Good morning, insert name, DFTBA. Today is Friday, and if you hear engines behind me, don't be alarmed. That is because Monster Jam is happening right across the street. Based on the previous clip that you just saw, you could assume that maybe I moved somewhere harbor side where seagulls are prevalent all over the place. Or maybe I just wanted to join a crazy surfer gang. Or maybe I just wanted to be a part of the new seasons of Baywatch. That's odd. Or maybe, all right, enough of the lies. These are nothing more than Las Vegas seagulls coming here for our beautiful blue skies, our man-made lakes, and of course, our cheap hotel prices when you book ahead. Like most, you may be wondering what Las Vegas has to offer a seagull of such oceanic stature. It's very simple. They are scavengers. When you think of something that's infesting, you tend to think of things that are small. With the pigeon being about a medium to small sized bird, most would assume that it's way easier for the pigeon to infest a building. This statement is loaded. Don't shoot! Because the environment in which you live is key. Like next to the ocean, a lake, or even your local pig farm. So Lake Mead is no exception to the rule and does in fact bring seagulls into town. Sometimes for longer than expected, but like I said, they are scavengers. Which brings me to my point about pigeons. Wow, this vlog is about me! Not just you, Terrence, all of bird kind, like the creepy owl named Sanchez behind me. Don't wanna know how I got these stars, man? I don't think you wanna know! Yes, his name is Sanchez. Wow, if you look back, we have basically been the same for the last 20 million years. With a species alive for that long, you should know everything about me! Like your favorite color, which is... Rock Dove Gray! Okay, Terrence, enough. My point is that scavenging birds like pigeons, seagulls, sparrows, starlings, and owls like Sanchez over here is that they all adapted to coexist with humans. Some adaptions are our fault, like rooftop air conditioners, eaves, poorly sealed attics, natural environmental destruction, and large neon signs. Even roof tiles are our fault. Take a look. You can see There's nothing under here. But a long, long void. It is very hollow. Wow. It's very hollow. It's very empty. Basically just a long, empty hallway. Each one of these layers of roof tile. When I say it's our fault, I mean it like this. We did not prepare for all these scavenging birds to live in all these man-made creations. We assumed they would stay on their side of the line while we stayed on our side of the line. But the funny thing about it all is, we made the line. So for the fight for mankind's right to build unbird-proofed commodities for our society, let's move forward and stop feeding the birds. Hey, hey to feeding the birds. Please and thank you. You'd be surprised what you could accomplish. Now let's answer last vlog's question of the day. How many babies hatch from one German cockroach egg? The answer, upwards to as many as 30 German cockroach babies can hatch from just one egg. And that is just from one German cockroach mother. And mothers are being hit up all, all, all day, every day, 24 seven. Which is why we're open 24 seven. They don't stop reproducing. Why should we stop working? None of this only child nonsense. Half for males, half for females. End of story. I don't care what they're named. With a life cycle of only a couple of months, it is no wonder how these creatures reproduce at such lightning speeds with their brothers and sisters. Coincidentally, that last fun fact will also get you extremely grossed out at lightning speeds. Insert name! See you on Wednesday. Bye. Question of the day. Call me Sanchez.